y'all. I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications and go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction, you can hit my email up, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. And also, um, don't forget about our live shows, man. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And also Sunday mornings with KQKC Boxing Network at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Join the channel for access to exclusive content. And hit my email on my Twitter up if you want to be a part of the TKO Debate Series. But let's go ahead and get it popping, bro. Jamal Charlo says he's back in June. He's finally spoken, and we know what his next move is. People have been calling for him to get stripped. He ain't fought in 600 days. People have been calling for him to fight better competition. He was about to fight Suleki before getting injured. So, what did he say specifically? He says, practice makes perfection. I needed some time away from the sport back in my bag. I'll be defending my WBC title in June. Sorry for the wait. So we got at least another year of Jamal Charlo at 160 pounds. The move to 168 pounds ain't happening no time soon. All right? Is it, is it highly unlikely that he going to fight two times this year? I hope he do. I hope he try to make up for lost time and hit us with a June and hit us with the end of the year. But you never know with Jamal Charlo, right? But it's one person in specific, specific that's been calling for this fight. And that's Carlos Adamas. He said, I deserve for the WBC to elevate me. I was at the WBC 60th convention and they ordered me versus Maul. So this is where I'm at with it, bro. I'm happy that Jamal Charlo is coming back to the ring. We all know... He's dealing with some personal issues. We spoke about it briefly on the morning after show yesterday with me and KQKC Boxing Network. I don't like getting into it um, that much, man, because, you know, that's that man's personal life. But, um, you know, hopefully everything works out. And, and, and the the be the only thing I will say is that I hope whatever whatever agreement he and his um, wife come to, that they're able to um, make sure that the kids are taken care of and raised properly and that it doesn't affect them. And then both of them, you know, are happy um, with whatever that outcome is. Now, Jamal Charlo back in the ring, bro. Let me speak on behalf of boxing fans everywhere that aren't Jamal Charlo apologists. And let me say, ain't nobody trying to see you fight Suleki, bro. Ain't nobody trying to see that shit, man. Knock out, bro. Come on, bro. Knock out. Jamal Charlo, man. You got to give him a tune-up to get back. You got to give him time to get back. Sulek is a good fight for him coming back after almost two years out the ring. Man, y'all know my energy don't change for nobody, bro. This is the type of video that the people that try to hate and act like I be fanboying and like I don't keep stuff objective. This is the type of video that they don't want people to see. This is the type of video that they won't mention. But this is also why y'all can't mess with me, bro. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know what it is. You just, you, you, you just salty that we, we extremely consistent and we call it how it's supposed to be called. And I got to say, as a Jamal Charlo fan, but first, first and foremost as a fight fan, we're not trying to see you come back and fight Suleki. I want to see you fight Carlos Adamas, bro. That's what I want to see. Carlos Adamas has earned his, 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 his way up the rankings. He beat a dude in Montiel that you beat, but he fucked him up way worse. And he is the interim WBC champion. And it ain't like he on some Ryan Garcia shit. Carlos Adamas is not running around this bitch trying to be the interim, 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 remix, interim, remix, interim, interim, interim champion. He ain't trying to duck Charlo to fight for the interim all over again. He ain't trying to duck Charlo to become the double interim champion the way that Ryan Garcia did to Devin Haney. 
That ain't what Carlos Adamas is doing. He petitioning for the fight. He calling for the fight. And he want the fight. And it's a better fight, more competitive fight. Um, and I want to see Jamal Charlo versus Carlos Adamas, bro. There should be no fear from anyone. If Jamal Charlo is who a lot of people think he is, Carlos Adamas is someone he should be able to beat. If Carlos Adamas is who his fans think he is, then Jamal Charlo should be someone that he should be able to beat. You get in that gym, you get your sparring in, you put in that work, and you do what you do. Like, this ain't nobody trying to stop the sport of boxing for Jamal, bro. No one asked him to make any of the decisions that he made in his life that have caused him to be inactive for the past however many years. Like, I understand he ain't fought in 600 days, but he was inactive leading up to that. Let's, and so I don't have time for tune-ups, bro. If you only going to fight once every year and a half, once every two years sometime, bro, I need you. When you come back, it better be a barn burn. Like, people be on Earl Spence's helmet, but when he come back, at least it's a champion. It's a big-name fighter. It's somebody that, you know what I'm talking about, we know. He ain't coming, Earl Spence ain't coming back like, yeah, give me the one and only host of Cito Lopez. I need a tune-up. So I'm holding Jamal to that same standard, bro. This man fought twice in 2019, once in 2020, and then once in 2021. I'm sorry, bro. I don't know what y'all want me to do with that. I'm not I'm not co-signing too lucky, dog. I'm not co-signing. I need you to fight the number one dude. And this is what we like. You you sent you sent Jaime Munguia an offer when he was number one and he was on the zone. Fighting for Golden Boy. You sure did. I remember that shit. And Golden Boy and Mungia ducked your ass. You see Jaime Mungia in offer when he was number one. And Jaime Mungia turned it down. He worked over there at Golden Boy working with them. Well, now, your other number one contender who got bumped up, who became the interim champion, why can't you send him an offer and he fight on PBC right with you? And he actually wants to fight. And his promoter ain't going to pull out the fight because his promoter is your promoter. His network ain't going to pull no bullshit asking the code broadcast or nothing like that because his network is your network, Jamal. So, uh, y'all got to make that shit happen, man. Y'all got to make that shit happen. I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't want to hear no cap. I don't want to hear nothing but make the fight happen. Anybody okay with Suleki is not okay with me. Anybody okay with a subpar opponent trying to make excuses for him, tell me he need to get his get back, got to get his mental together, got to make sure he's okay, got to do this, got to do that. No, bro. No. No, he got to come back and hit the ground running like we expect of everybody else. I be damned if I'm going to sit up here and talk about what I would like for Canelo Alvarez to do. I'd be damned if I'm going to sit up here and talk about what I would like Javante Tank David to do. I'd be damned if I'm going to talk about Earl Spence, if I'm going to talk about Terrence Crawford, if I'm going to talk about any other fighters that we talk about on this channel, but not have that same consistency and that same viewpoint when it comes to Jamal Charlo, bro. He has to get in there and he got to fight the best possible opponent and the best possible realistic opponent for him to come back to is his number one contender who currently holds the WBC interim championship that petitioned for that fight and that wants that fight very badly. And that's Carlos Adam. Get down or lay your belt down. That's all I that's all I want that's all I'm saying, bro. Jamal gotta get down or lay his belt down, bro. You need to get down with Carlos Adam or you just need to lay your belt down and keep it moving, bro. Y'all tell me where I'm wrong yet. Let me know in the comment section, man. Comment down below. Smash the like, sub to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Don't forget we live tonight, Wednesday night and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I appreciate everybody watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out.